Final Fantasy X-2 HD Remaster Edition is rated T for teens. For mild blood, mild language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright guys, welcome to the Creature Creator section of my little let's play on Final Fantasy X-2. Now, the Creature Creator was originally a feature that was only included in the Final Fantasy X-2 international re-release of it. The international version was released only inside of Japan, so they all had access to it. With the re-release of the HD remaster, or the release of the HD remaster, we finally gained access to it outside of Japan, which is amazing. Now, I, I was originally going to go through all the details about how the how it works and all that other stuff, but that's not really the point because everyone has their own play style and everything like that, so I'm not going to go into depth of how everything works. You can figure that out from Shinra, who actually tells you when you first gain access to the place. He'll give you a tutorial on how it runs. Instead, I'm going to give you the finer details that he doesn't tell you. Specifically, uh, special things you can unlock, spe uh, specifically the cups. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to say this. Do this in a new game plus. It will make everything worlds easier for you. If not in a new game plus, do it uh, at later in the game, preferably before, uh, well before level 99. Because once you reach level 99, it'll stop the fiend tail progression. I still prefer recommending it at, at, at New Game Plus, because you have access to everything at that point. So, let's start with the fiend arena cups, because those are the more interesting things. Let's get into it real quickly. Uh, here we go. Okay. When you first start the game, you'll have access to the Standard Cup. Beating it will net you, I believe, the Psychic Dress Sphere, if not, Standard Cup part does that. Now, Standard Cup, uh, up to level 19, you'll still gain the Fiend Tail bonus for all your Fiends. That is if you win, of course. Uh, F standard Cup Hard, you'll unlock by beating the Standard Cup three times. And it'll continue to give you the Fiend Tail bonus up to level 49. Keep in mind that these level information is what I've heard. I could be wrong. I'm not, I haven't tested it yet. Grand Cup is unlocked for beating the Standard Cup Hard, and it'll give you Fiend Tail bonus up to level 39. Grand Cup Hard is for winning is unlocked after winning the Grand Cup three times, and you'll gain Fiend Tail bonus up to level 59. The Chocobo Cup is gained by beating the Grand Cup Hard at least once, and you'll continue to gain the bonus up to 59. Cactuar is unlocked by beating Grand Cup Hard four times, and you'll gain EXP up to level 69, or a uh, Fiend Tail bonus. Keep in mind these aren't consecutive wins, you just do it grand total. The Youth League Tournament, which is one of the more annoying cups, you unlock by beating the Grand Cup hard six times, and you'll continue to gain Fiend Tail bonus up to level 69. This is very difficult to do, your best bet is hoping that Nuge gets taken out early, because he will be the one that will kill you 99.999% of the time. Aeon Cup is unlocked by be by releasing all of the Aeon Fragment Fiends, which I'll get into in a little bit. And you'll gain Fiend Tail bonus up to level 79. The Fiend World Cup is unlocked by beating by doing a Fiend quest line, which I'll get into in a few seconds, and you'll gain Fiend Tail bonus up to level 89. The Far Plane Cup is unlocked by beating each of the previous cups at least once, and you'll gain EX er, Fiend Tail bonus up to level 99. So if you're strong enough, you can win this multiple times and you'll be good. Yay! Now to get on to the more interesting stuff. Let's start with the, the uh, Aeon Cup. To unlock the Aeon Cup, you need to capture a certain uh, fiend throughout the game. Certain fiends throughout the game. When you look at their history, it'll say that there's a... Um, this fiend loves to battle or something like that. There's, there's nothing you can gain from it. But don't release it. Level it up as if you were to level up a normal fiend. Take another one with you. When it's able to release its storyline, check and check. Just check it. It should say that this fiend holds an Aeon fragment, and release it, and you'll get this really cool cutscene of it releasing a dark Aeon. And you'll be able to battle it in the battle simulator. Do this to each of the for each of the Aeons, and you'll unlock the Aeon Cup. To unlock them, you need Moxitoxin in chapters three to five. He can be found on the Mihen High Road or in Xanarkand with a small trap. 
the Flame Dragon, chapters 1 through 4 in Besaid, the Large Trap, the Machina Striker in the Thunder Plains after you unlock the new cave, with a Large Trap, Von Blanco in chapters 2 through 5 on the Moonflow, Makalania, or Bavel with a Small Trap, Ozzy Dahaka is a Large Trap, chapter 5 in Bavel. Uh, Arena is a crab, it's not crab, it's a spider. Large Trap, Chapter 5, and Bavel. You have to fight him to unlock him. Critical Bug, Medium, Chapter 5, Bavel. Uh, unlock after, uh, you get him after unlocking Via Infinito. I think you have to get to the level where he's at. Not 100% sure on that. And the last one, Jumbo Cactuar, you need to you need to unlock the Cactuar Cave in Chapter 5 on Bicanel with a large trap, trap and you can get him. Unlocking all these will give you the uh, Arena Cup. Fun side note, by releasing Flan Blanco, you release Shiva, who has the same strength as Shiva from the main story. She is a great place to uh, AP grind. It's how I mastered all of my Garment Grids, or all my Dress Spheres, very quickly. All you need is uh, AP egg, and you can get it like crazy. The Fiend World Cup is another one of the more annoying ones. To get this, you need to do a series of Fiends and release them. To start it off, you need Deva, which I believe you can get in Chapter 2 in Kilika. I'm not 100% sure on that. I will post in the description my little list of Fiends, where to find them, and what size trap you need. But once you level him up and release him, you'll get Akamana. Release Akamana, and you get Aizma. Release Aizma, and you get Jahi. After releasing Jahi, you can get Tomb and Jose, with, I believe, a medium trap. Now I have to turn on that. But once you release uh, Tomb, you'll gain access to Dolomin in Chapter 5, or 4, one of those two. And level him up, release him, and then after you go to the Far Plane in Chapter 5, you'll, un you'll unlock Monolith. Once you raise and release Monolith, you'll automatically gain Ultima Weapon, raise, release him, and you'll gain access to the Fiend Cup. Beat the Fiend Cup, the final boss will be Omega, the Omega Weapon, and you can capture him. Raise, um, and do as many battles with the Fiend Arena as you can at this point, and then release Omega. Afterwards, you'll gain access to a very interesting Fiend called Almighty Shinra, which I'll go into showing you right now. Very difficult to battle, but if you beat him, you can, you can get him in your team. So let's go over and uh, check them out. Almighty Shinra. I play for keeps. He is a beast of a beast. Um, there is a very easy way to beat him. Well, not very easy. It's fairly easy if you can keep if you're quick enough. You need an alchemist and the mascot dress spheres. Have uh, the alchemist use a miracle potion, which is, I believe, a uh, what was it? <laughs> Health tablet or something like that with a potion. I can't remember the exact combination there, but it'll give you the hero drink effect on your entire party, which makes you invulnerable to all damage. Then switch over to mascots and have them use uh, Moogle Beam and Cackling Gun. Keep Riku in the Alchemist Dress Sphere and have her attack. Uh, when the effect wears off, quickly have her recast the effect. If you're quick enough and you have high enough HP, you will definitely be able to survive the battle. I recommend doing this when you're high level, especially with Iron Duke. If you have multiples, you can walk all over Almighty Shinra pretty easily. And that's how you unlock the Fiend Cup and get Almighty Shinra, which is fun. Now, Paragon is another one of the strong ones as well. You need to beat him to unlock him in Via Infinito. Nothing really major there. Uh, for those that like Sphere Break, if you unlock, if you capture the Fiend, where is he? Not ah, passed over. Varan, and release him, you'll gain access to the Sphere Break Elites, which is inside the Besaid Orox uh, locker room. You can gain very powerful. Uh, accessories by beating them. The problem is, on general, they have a quota of 500. So, you have to be really good at Sphere Break to be able to beat them all. Uh, another one is, you can do this in Chapter 1. This is the Machina Panzer Quest. 
You get this by capturing Killer Hound, which is... Oop, passed over him. This Hound, Chapter 1 in Bickenell with a Small Trap. They'll tell you about a creature in Xanarkand, which is a medium trap. There he is. YSLS0. Capture him and release him, and you gain access to the Machina Panzer right here. Then level him up and release him. He's a large trap in Thunder Plains. And you can gain the Adamantite Accessory, which drastically increases your defense and magic defense. Which is amazing, especially considering you can get this done early in the game. Like, before you even go to the, uh... What's it called? The Ruins on Gagazet, the very beginning of the game. You can do that if you're quick enough. But that's basically all the really fun stuff you need to know. Uh, there are special stuff you can unlock, like for example, as you saw earlier, you can unlock Ormi, Logos, and LeBlanc by beating the game once. Doing this will unlock uh, special characters you can, you can capture. You need a special trap, uh, humanoid setting to capture these guys, they'll be in Guadalajara. Um, you can also capture Seymour in New Game Plus, no not New Game Plus, in Normal Mode, by beating him in the Far Plane Cup. Tremel, you can capture him with a special humanoid in uh, the Via Infinita after beating level uh, 499. I'll go through these quickly. I'll go through these real quickly, sorry. Yaibol can be unlocked on Mushroom Rock Road in chapters 2 through 5 before you finish the Den of Wa. You also have to join the Youth League, I believe. Uh, Lucille can be caught Mushroom Rock Road chapter 5 if you join the Youth League with a special trap. Elma is the same, but with chapter 2 through 5, before finishing the Den of Woe. Barrel Eye, Gipple, and Nuge are also capturable after beating after beating the Den of Woe. Barrel Eye is in Bevel, Humanoid Trap Sphere. Gipple is in Jose, same thing. And Nuge, interestingly enough, is in uh, Jose as well. Interesting. Garrick, also, low uh, us Level chapter four through five special human brother you get whenever you have no one in your party. Buddy is where's Buddy? Three through five: Besaid, Kilika, Jose, and Gagaset. Kimari and Kimari and Lulu are capturable in uh, New Game Plus. Any chapters? Lulu is Besaid, Kimari is Gagaset. Um, you can capture Orin as well. In the far plane, by beating him in the far plane cup, which I still need to do, and you can capture a mystery character, which I am not going to say. If you know who it is, do not spoil it. I'm fairly certain you're guessing who it is, and you're probably right. But I'm not going to do, say anything just so you guys can be surprised when you see it. But after you beat um, Seymour and Orin and capture them, this person this person gets unlocked. Now, when I say beat them, I mean that literally. You have to beat them in the far plane cup as well as beating the cup. You can get lucky where Orin will be at the end, but there's no good chance of that. Um, the best bet is fighting them right at the very beginning. So if they're not there, run from the battle and do it again. But that's pretty much all the basics of this. If you want a complete list of all the fiends that you can capture, what chapter they should be appearing in, and where you can find them, uh, check the description. I will be sure to copy and paste my little list to go there. And I hope this is helpful for you, helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment and I will answer it. Keep in mind, I'm going to stress this, keep in mind that I have not personally gone through each of these locations and checked. So it is a approximation, this is where they're probably going to appear. This is the size uh, trap you do need, and this is the chapter they should appear in. So keep that in mind. If they don't appear where I said they are, uh, reload, save, reload, save, reload, keep doing that over and over again. Uh, but if they don't appear there, come back later and check it. You may need to advance the storyline a little bit to unlock them. That being said, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'm looking forward to the last mission. See you guys next time. Bye. Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to show your support, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you really want to show your support, just go to our Facebook channel or our Twitter and like and follow us. 
Thank you again for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next set. Bye!